All right, so this morning I've got a really special, um, well, I guess the whole video is gonna be really special. We're doing an event that I did last year that you know, at first was kind of a random phone call if you wanted to be a boat captain with a, a Wounded Warriors Project tournament, and I'd never done it before. So I said, sure, I'd love to help out, and met a really good friend. And so I'm doing it again this year, and I got drawn with him, Patrick. Um, he's with the Wounded Warriors Project. What, so what exactly do you do with the Wounded Warriors Project? I know you, you help out with it, but. Yes, yeah, so I'm a peer facilitator with the Wounded Warriors Project. We uh, assist those soldiers that are pretty much deployed and been to Iraq, Afghanistan. And we uh, offer recreation, also medical assistance to them and everything, and also help these guys with some of the uh, illnesses that they are dealing with and also some of the pain, trauma, yeah. and also dealing with the situation. Coming and, from the and most of these guys were in, you said they were in the thick of it. They were yes. in combat or? These guys were pretty much in Iraq and Afghanistan and pretty much I've gotten off and off for active duty and pretty much now uh, leading our lives in the civilian life and trying to re reintegrate back into society. Gotcha. So they, um, we've got, there's 25 um, warriors and there's 25 boaters. And so, like he was saying, these are people that fought, you know, they went to Afghanistan and Iraq, they fought for the country, they did the whole thing, and now they're back here. And so fishing, getting out with these guys, just helps them, um, I guess, adjust back to, to being a, a civilian again, getting back to normal life. And so it's a, it's, it is a huge blessing. Then I talked to the guys after last year about it, and they are like, dude, that was one of the coolest days. And most of these people don't even fish. It ain't about the fishing, it's about the, the stories they tell, and. Um, just get to know a, a real soldier because most of us, you know, everybody's got a family member who did something in the military or uh, your grandparents, you know, fought or whatever it was. But to go fishing with these people, it, it was really special. So hopefully, me and Patrick are going to catch some today. The fish are biting really good. Uh, but more than that, I know we're going to have a ton of fun. So y'all stick along for this video. It's going to be a lot of fun. Patrick knows how to catch them. Uh, he caught. He, he caught the biggest one last year. Biggest one last year. And he caught the first one last year. It was like a four pounder last year. So we're going to try to uh, duplicate that again. So y'all stick along. We're headed to spot number one. Everybody's blasting off without us. So we're going to go ahead and take off now. Patrick, you ready? We're ready. Let's go get him. Hey, tuck that rod in those holes. Let's go. Oh, so after uh, a little bit of a run, we finally made it to our first spot. Today we're gonna to be fishing pretty deep. Um, Y'all know how I like to fish. Big crankbait, big worm. Pretty much you're only gonna to stick to those two things today. Patrick, Patrick knows how to fish, so I gotta, like last year I kinda, kinda I'm not gonna say I took it easy because I did not take it easy, but Patrick really, really caught him. So uh, we get to have a little friendly competition. Me and Patrick actually stayed in touch all year last year, which was a lot of fun, and uh, helped out with several different things, and more than just, being in this kind of a one-time event thing, we became a, a, a true friendship, so that was a lot of fun. But y'all stick along. We're gonna start fishing right now. Hopefully we'll catch us some. Big crankbaits, big worms, right now. There's a lot of fish right here. They just travel up between here and where they're at, and they group up in different places. I wasn't really a big fan of watching Floyd Mayweather box. I mean, I. I I like that he was undefeated and yeah. and all that stuff. I like that part of his glory, but he's, he's not a. It was boring. It was box. boring. It, it is boring. He he's a crafty. He's that. I'm gonna not hit his. Nah, he ain't. He is not gonna get hit though. He's not gonna get hit. He don't, he don't like being hit. That's it. He's a defensive. He hit it good? He did pretty good. Kind of tapped it a little bit and then kind of set it down. Make sure he'll keep. I think he will. Oh, yeah. You want to send a picture to the group? Yeah. Well, he was tapping. I thought he was going to do it because 
Those fish are just all right here. Oh, that guy just missed one. No, he's got one. The guy in the back of that boat on the left. No, there's a little one. Maybe they're going to start biting now. Hey, uh, are, have y'all got any? Uh, no, we That's come out to come out to where I'm at. There's a group of three boats. I'm the furthest one downriver. Right, uh, I mean, I, unless you unless you're going to a school, I mean, unless you're going to fish, but there's fish here. Come over where I'm at. Y'all can catch fish. I mean, it'll, it'll it'll it ain't like catching them every cast, but all right, bye. That one feels big. Okay, that's a decent little start. I just caught another one. Yeah, all on a stand-up head. I can't get them by the crankbait. Yeah, just a mag trick worm. Hey, Trey. I don't know where all my big ones went. But we'll still keep catching these little ones. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a bunch of them. We'll see if that matters. I'm gonna give you a different color. Sometimes that matters, sometimes it don't matter. You know how to rig that up, don't you? I try. <laughs> yeah, I am. They're sitting in, on one spot. Hey, and I got the phone call on uh, voicemail, I mean on video too. Yeah. Hey, Trey. I'm just making minor adjustments on my side, brother. Just minor, little small, little twists and turns is what I make. 
Oh, come on now, damn. You just sit there talking to me and come back and just hook this bug. <laughs> I don't know if he'll help us or not. We already got three. I don't, I think they might only be on one spot, Patrick. Come up here on me and throw. Get that out of your way. I'm throwing like right at the back corner of his boat and they're there every time. If you want to get on the right side, I'll get on this side. Sometimes on those shell bars, they'll literally just be on one spot. You'll get bit on that or even a little bit to the left of that. But you can see, look, you can see this little this is, makes a little swing right here mm -hmm. and they're just sitting right on that Same swing I, I don't know what the reason is but you see that right there yeah. that's one fish under a bunch of bait mm -hmm. but it's like that all the way to them and i, I kept seeing them up there you get your one yet all right you get it man i'm telling you it's exciting Look at this. This is a wad of bait fish and right there. And those fish, you can see how they're arching. They're uh -huh. they're feeding under us. Whoa. That's that's what that looks like. That's what feeding fish is. And those fish are feeding on shad. I don't know why we can't. I could not get bit on that crankbait though. I love it when you get in them shells start hitting real hard. Yeah, yeah just bumping. Because I, I, I feel like every time I'm about to get bit. <laughs> so you ready to set? I'm ready the whole time. <laughs> What the you call it a pink worm? Yeah, the pink one that you like. Like, like there you <laughs> Sorry, I I'm catching one. I I'll we'll talk in a second. We'll talk in just a second, Trey. You remember just remember what you were telling me and just give me one second. Let me unhook this fish I got. Just give me one second, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Really? He Trey won fifteen hundred dollars. So if you, yeah, the guy was telling the thing for what, for catching a tagged fish, and he yeah. caught it on my worm. Yeah. He said he gonna give me. He said he gonna give me. Yeah, fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah. So he won fifteen hundred off my bait, and he gonna give me five dollars. Trey, is it, is it, he says you don't have to be so generous with the five bucks. <laughs> Sorry, Trey. Devin texted and said, you boys, everybody sending some pictures. Got him. Dang, that's a big one. That's a, he's better, he's one of our better ones. Devin texted and said, uh, you boys asleep because nobody takes them back they're just sending pieces nobody of fish and I, 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 he said uh hang on let me take another one he said he sent a couple pictures uh -huh. and no one said anything back to him oh yeah and uh he said you boys asleep and i text back and said it's hard to it's hard to text when we're catching them every cast <laughs> he was close right there man. yeah it was
I never even felt that one bite at all. Mm -hmm. I never felt that one bite. It just really? my line just started pulling up up river. He never, you know, most of them have been it's hitting it pretty it. hard. So you just picked it up and started eating the way with it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like this guy. I don't even know him. I like him. The one that was late this morning. <laughs> I can't believe <laughs> He just sit back chilling like a mug. Him and his partner. Yeah. Yeah. Forced. Forced in Canada or something like that. That's Josh. His name is Josh. That be like a nice looking man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a big one. It is. That's not one of our guys. Huh? Oh, damn, not my partner here. He don't talk <laughs> shit. I would know he is, Bernie. So that guy, I guess, is the boat driver. Yeah. And he's with that guy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's Carl, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the two guys. That's Milton. Mil that's Milton's friend. You remember the guy? Yep. That's his friend. Milton was one last year catching all of them. Yeah, yeah. Patrick, I had him over. I said, no way in hell you catching them. Then he was, though. Yeah. That's Jeannie. She caught it. She yeah, caught two or three. Yeah. He must be catching a bunch of them. It's Foster, yeah. And hell, he was. That's the one that was late. We couldn't find his butt. Him and his buddy, both of them would sleep. Wouldn't get up. Let's haul up. We're back to the uh, beginning. That's Jennifer. She came in the last. We called her yesterday and she came. She said, I'll be there. I had one that whole time we were talking. Yeah. He was there somebody holding on? The whole time. <laughs> I must have better luck than you today because we're doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah. It's, you're just in that zone today. You are on it. We're, we're doing the same thing. <laughs> so what we're catching all our fish on today is just a zoom magnum trick worm we've got it on a stand-up head and you can see this one has not a lot of paint left on it my favorite stand-up head is the dirty jigs one it's got a ewg hook instead of that kind of straight shank hook you can see the difference right there but i don't have any dirty jigs heads that have a five volt hook that i like a I like a five volt hook with this big worm um just because I feel like I, you hook more of them. I don't like the, especially on a three quarter ounce, I don't like the bite that that smaller hook has. So anyhow, just uh, thread that worm on. And just like so, I make it completely weedless. I don't even leave any tip, tip hanging out. We're fishing around some structure, some um, like underwater, like standing logs and stuff underwater out on the river channel. So yeah, I don't want it to hang up. Um, but yeah that's the setup super simple that's my favorite one i also like how they've got that flat eye this one if you can tell on the dirty jigs one it doesn't hang up very much at all it stands up really well and i, I, I really like the ewg hook you hook them you don't hardly miss any fish on that uh dirty jigs head i have missed some today on this magnum stand-up head that i'm throwing but it's got a bigger hook so that's the one that i'm going with so anyhow we're just throwing this thing out let it sink all the way to the bottom just really really the most basic style fishing you can do i mean most simple thing throw it let it sink to the bottom 
drag, reel up your slack, drag, reel up your slack, fishing some shells. And so uh, y'all can't see this, but uh, on the graph I could show you, but there's deep water on this side that comes up and shallow on top on the, on the left side over here. Um, so it's like 30 and deeper out here, 30 foot and deeper out here. And then it comes up to like 15 foot on top. And so there's shells on top and we're just dragging worms um, through those shell bars. And yeah, the rest is pretty self-explanatory. Just fish really, really, really slow. Fishing through those shells and you feel them and feel them and feel them. And then, and then you get a bite, pretty simple. Basic fishing 101. Normally when I see fish like that, so I've been spot locked pretty much the whole time. When I see a fish like that, just one fish under the bait, I can hit spot lock and turn it off, drift back off this spot and then throw back in front of me where that fish was. And nearly every time today I've caught them and they're just scattered all up and down this ledge, like on top of it. They're not on the drop, they're actually sitting on top of it. And it's really, really slow. I mean, it's, they're not, it's not like an actual, normally when we're fishing a school, we're, I like to throw a crankbait on them just because you can catch so many fish in a row, but they're not biting the crankbait today. So I'm gonna keep dragging this worm and hopefully we'll keep catching some more fish. Hopefully they'll get bigger too. Every single fish we caught today weighs two pounds. Every single one of them. We hadn't caught a small one. We hadn't caught a big one, two pounders only. But we've literally probably caught 20 already today. There's some more fish under, under us. You can see they're feeding good. It's kind of weird. They're feeding on, I mean, you can tell they're feeding on shad, but they are not eating a crankbait, which is a little odd. But back to the action. That might be my last cast here. I'm tired of seeing the same place. Okay. We'll go right around. Right. Two pounder. One pounder. While sustained in combat. And now, uh, you know, goofy as hell, but you're talking about a true soldier. Great truth, man, I'm telling you. If I'm in combat, he's the one I want on my tail. So I make sure you're taking care. A lot of times when, when they get blown up, they'll get a TBI or something. But when we was doing rapid deployments, long time, I think, you know, yeah, your unit will put you right back in your shoe. <laughs> go back again. A lot of those guys are messed up. So if you got, you know, infantry type unit and that's what they do, ground and pound and kicking in doors and doing all that stuff, then they don't give them a reset, which means they're supposed to, you know, get them medically checked out, make sure they're okay mentally. And get back in the game. And then get back in the game. Well, because they call your unit up. Are they mentally okay with that, or do they want to be out of it? Like, once some some of them want it. They they get used to the doing. And that's their thing. That thing, and that's their thing. Like Milton and, and Stephen, and like Jake, Jake Chalk, the guy from the Philippines. I mean, from Laos. Uh, they love that stuff. He was a scout, so he enjoyed going trying to find the damn enemy and people and basically kill them. He enjoyed. It. He got hurt. How many people get scared? Everybody. Really? Don't let nobody tell you they're not scared. You're scared shit. Really? Because there's a lot of stuff going on around. You hear damn bullets going by and... Like, there, there's no way that's comfortable to anybody. No, no, it's not. You know, some people would get used to it a little bit more than others, but that, that adrenaline there, and that feel you need it, because it feels like you're alive. So is that stuff going on right now over there? Not as... No, 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 not as much. They don't, they don't got the majority of the soldiers out there now, and pretty much most of them are gone. We still have what we call... I mean, is there still thousands of people over there? Or? Yeah, yeah, there's probably about 4,000, 4,500 so people. And those are doing intel and uh, seeing how they're going to...
No. He crushed it though. They're crushing it, but no size. Yeah, they all uh, in the same weight category. The same it's about that time, anyhow. Yeah, he did. I'm gonna end it on that. I'm gonna end my, my day on a fish You'll catch. Well, that's how I'm gonna end the fishing part of this day. Day's definitely not over. Caught me a little guy on a sw belly wetted swim bait. And we were just talking about leaving and I caught one on that cast as soon as it hit the water. The second it hit the water. And uh, anyhow, there's a fish, but more importantly than the fish, this, like I said earlier, this day is just an awesome day get to spend um, spend your day with a soldier or former soldier or um, just I mean it is what it you know it says it's a warrior you're fishing with a warrior today and so uh, it's an honor to be out here with Patrick and we shared some some uh, some good talks a lot of those you know definitely won't make the video just for privacy or for whatever reason but uh, cool to catch up cool to talk about stories and hear some of these stories that he's got because it's just you know the things you hear from someone who knows about the military and knows you know what those people you know guys and girls see every day when they're there it's just it's crazy to hear those things so anyhow if you know a soldier uh whoever it was if they've served in the past or if they still are serving just go tell them thanks i mean it's, it takes a day like this to appreciate not to appreciate but to sometimes to realize because you get to talk to the guy and so just want to say Huge thanks to the Wounded Warrior Project, uh, Patrick for getting to spend the day with him, and uh, Devin for inviting me to do this. Had a lot of fun. Now we're gonna go over to the, um, back to the, to the dock so we can have a lunch and uh, go over some things. And anyhow, super awesome tournament. If you ever had the opportunity to fish a Wounded Warrior Project, um, you know, event or if, or anything, I don't know if they've got golf tournaments or basketball tournaments or flag football tournaments well i don't even know you know i'm sure they got all different kinds of activities but just the opportunity to share your time with somebody who served the country is uh, it's been something i'm blessed to be able to do the last two years and i definitely want to do it moving forward so anyhow hope you guys enjoyed the video we caught a bunch of fish today uh no big ones at all uh, but that's not what the day was about. It was about having fun, sharing, sharing times and getting these guys out on the water. Uh, Patrick's had a really cool story. I don't, I probably can't share it, but, uh, Patrick's done a lot of training with a lot of these people. And so he, he kind of gets, you know, has a really close relationship with a lot of the other soldiers and they, you can tell they look up to him and, um, call on him, giving him, you know, th thanks for Patrick inviting those people and, um, several people called today just jacked up that they are got to catch fish and their first fish and we saw several uh two ladies here that i believe probably caught their first fish i think and so just that that's just awesome so anyhow hope you guys enjoyed that i may or may not film um at the meeting here in a little bit so if not please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys on the next one